Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Stacy McKinley. It's been a long time, Stacy, but good to have you on the channel again. Well, it's nice. I'm glad you got me. It's been a while, but I've been following you all over the world. Yeah, yeah. You've been doing your thing, so we've been right here training. Same thing, you know. Yeah. Having a good time. Everything, everything's just churning along. You know, I come back in the gym now, and you got like a whole new stable now. Like, I don't see no familiar face. Everybody here is new. So, uh, just tell people about your, your your stable now. The guys you're training now. Well, I got, <clears throat> I got some young kids. Most of these guys are young, but they're very talented. You know, I got I got kids came in from from Connecticut. My little boy coming from Connecticut. We call him the Italian Stallion. He's very, very, very good fighter, very talented young kid that I'm working with, and he has a big following as an amateur at the Mohegan Sun. So to get ready to turn pro, we're gonna take him back. And I got the young kid from this area, the little Henry, Henry Clemente. I'm gonna call him when he turned pro, I'm gonna call him the hands of stone because he punched like I don't know what. And also I got the two brave brothers. The two brave brothers who came out of Albany, uh, Auburn. What's it called? Melbourne? Melbourne, Melbourne, Florida. Melbourne, Florida. Alex Bray and Kamar Bray. And Kamar Bray. Fantastic young men. I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's unbelievable the talent that they got. And I saw them last year in the Golden Gloves. And I was just there as a spectator. And I saw Alex fight. Alex was about six foot four. He was only 16 years old. And I saw him fight. I, I, I was like, who, who the hell is that? And this, this kid is from Melbourne. So I started watching him fight. And uh, I went up and talked to his father. I said, look, man, said, what are you guys planning on doing? He said, well, I don't know right now. I said, I'm going to talk to you when this tournament is over with. And then I watched his brother, Kamar, the shorter kid. And he's built like Joe Frazier. He's fighting. He won the tournament. So both kids won the tournament. But I knew there was something special about those boys. They had special talent. And so I talked to his father. His father said, look, I'll bring him down there. I let you work with them, and I do a deal with you, and that's and they've been with me ever since, almost a year now. But they uh, they hold their own with anybody. I mean, everywhere they go, people are like, "Ooh, oh, oh, I can't believe this young kid." My guy was only 16 years old. He only 17. Yeah. So I haven't been fighting uh, Alex in the United States. I've been fighting abroad in South America, which you got a good following. But he's um, he's one of the most talented kids that I've trained. I have to put him. I have to put him in the class with. It. Amir Mon. Amir Mon was a very talented kid. Talking about Alex. Yeah, Alex. Alex Bray is a he's a boxer puncher. And he's 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 fast, he can punch hard, he think good, he moves good, and he loves boxing. His brother's a little bit shorter. His brother's a little bit shorter, he more of a Joe Frazier style, but I say he got the equalizer because he can punch. He punch hard with either hand, they're hard working, they're not drinking, they're not smoking, they're not hanging out all night. Uh, they're very disciplined kids, so I've been at them almost a year now. And uh, Alex is three and zero, and, and Kamar is four and zero with four knockouts. So those are my two leading young guys. I just got another heavyweight that came in from Cuba. Okay, you know his name? His name is uh, Tor Trey or something like that. I just made him today, but he was two-time Olympian, five-time national champion, uh, Pan Am champion. So he's all of that. So his first fight is going to be a ten rounder. Okay. So his first fight is a 10 round. It's pro debut? Yeah, it's pro debut. Oh, damn. Okay. It's a 10 round. So he has that type of pedigree. Um, pedigree. So, and he's going to be fighting for a title, a regional WBA or WBC title. So those kids are very talented. And I'm just having a good time. You know, this gave me new birth and, and uh, seemed like I kind of got younger or something. You look younger. Like you look a little younger. Yeah, I look a lot younger <laughs> and uh, a lot happier and just enjoying life, doing, doing what I do, you know. I just got inducted into the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame. Mm. That's where I'm from. Yep. And I'm opening up a boxing program there at my old junior high school. I'm opening up a boxing program there. Actually, it's a vocational school because it's a vocational school. We got uh, academics. We got uh, we got we got a boxing. It's a boxing academy. So I'm doing it in my old neighborhood where I was born, where I was raised. And uh, they need that. So a lot of things is happening, you know. And a lot of people are calling me about this Bray kid. Alex Bray is hot as a firecracker right a lot now. Of the, a lot of the promoters and managers promoters, and all stuff. All the promoters want him. They all want him. So all, all the big name promoters. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, and big name promoters, you know, they all want, they want this kid. So we are fortunate that we can take our time. You know, PBC want him. We can take our time. And the kid's gonna grow into six foot four. He's only 17 years old. So you're looking at the next heavyweight, great heavyweight one day. 
he's going to grow into a heavyweight. But he walks around now about 170 pounds, but he's only 17 years old. But isn't he, he's a 54 pounder, right? He's I mean, 54, but he walk, walks around about 170. So we go down, you know, we all go yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. So after this year, next year he probably go up to 175. And hopefully, if God keep blessing us, when that kid close to 20 years old, we fighting for the world title for him. That's how he bands. Anybody say, well, you know, you're moving kind of fast. Well, I watched Michael Dotes at 16 years old. A guy I lost to the Olympic trials. I watched him at 16 years old, turn pro and going up the field. Uh, Roberto Duran turned pro when he was 16. Obacar, all those guys. So it's nothing new if you got the talent. Mm. You don't have the talent that you don't Same do thing it. with a guy like Devin Haney, you know? Yeah, you got to take your time and you got to, you know what you got. Because I know what I got. You know, I, I know I got a, a boxer that can think. I know he's fast. I know his mind. He's in a class all by himself. So I'm looking, we're looking, we're looking for a lot of stuff. That's, out how, here. that's how I pray. You know, I, I've done like, me and you have done countless inter interviews over the years. I, I, I don't think I've ever, I've ever heard you speak so highly of a guy, you know, in the time I've known you, that you've trained right. as Alex Bray. Well, I have to call it like it is. You know, I call it like it is, and I call it like what everybody else saw at the tournament. You know, Roy Jones, all of them is trying to get this kid. So, but I, what, what, I, what it caught my eye, I, I, I said, wait a minute, you know, I was, I was talking to some other people with this. Let's enjoy the amateur program. It's been a long time since I've been to an amateur tournament. And then all at once, I'm looking, and I hear the crowd screaming and hollering. I'm looking. Now, he's fighting. At that particular fight, he was fighting the number one guy in the country. The guy was rated number one in the country, okay? And Eric was fighting him and knocked him out in 40 some seconds of the first round. So the crowd went crazy. He done knock out the number one guy in the country. And he's only 16 years old. And so I'm going like, wait a minute. So I got him down and talked to him. You know, I had several people to interview him. And I asked him how old it was. And he told me he was 16. Then he told me he was six foot three and a half. And I went like, damn. And so you know, I said, this is the, this is the, in fact, I think that night during the interview, I said that this kid could have come along with, with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Ann Pryor, and all those guys, he's been in that category. He could have been on that. He could have been on that team. That's what I saw in this kid, you know. Yeah. And he's quiet. So that was that was saying a lot. That was saying a lot. But it's true. But it's true. And the, and the guys he's fired with now, they'll contest to it because he's been keeping good company. And now it's hard to get sparring for him. Now I got to send him to Detroit to try to pay for sparring to come spar with a 17 year old kid. That's crazy. So what is it about him specifically, like, because? Um, I'm kind of taking it back by the way you're talking about him. <laughs> yeah. He's good. I mean, I watch, I watch him. It looks good. But what is it about that has you talking so highly of him? What is it about his skills or his mentality that has you thinking that way about him? Well, Alex, let's, let's go from skills. From a skill point, he got, he got quick hands. And on top of that, he can punch. He has, a, he, has a devastating, he has a devastating right hand. He's quick. He can think. He's mentally, he's... he's very strong. He's very strong mentally. You know, all he does is sleep and eat boxing. That's all he want to do is fight. That's all he want to do. So with that and his skills and, and, and his, his technique and how he learns so fast and the things that he does naturally in the ring tell me that this kid is, this kid is different. And uh, so I said, okay, I'm going to put basic fundamentals in you, but I'm going to let you do your own thing. I'm not going to take what God already gave you hmm. because I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna train you according to the way God made you. I don't try to change you. I'm just gonna teach you and enhance, and then you go ahead and do what you got to do. And that's basically the way that, that, that we train. And a lot of things he creates while he's, while he's training. And when he's sparring, and I can see it, and he's mean too. That's another thing. He doesn't, he understands this is a hurt business at 17 years old. Now, right now he's about six foot four. So you got a six foot four, 17 year old kid can fight like that. It kind of reminds me of when I had Tony Tucker. Hmm. It kind of reminded me of Tony Tucker. And I think that his punching power is a little bit, a bit harder than Tony Tucker. But he can box like Tony Tucker did. He's a good boxer, big, Tony six foot five that can box. This kid probably, six foot four, he's 17 years old, he probably ended up being six five, six six. You're looking at six six, 225 pounds. Heavyweight, they come all the way up from a little fighter. Lean, lean frame. Right? All the lean flame. Everybody think you got to have red, big muscles and all that, but 
Angelo Dundee and I used to talk about it all the time. The station, I'd rather have one of them slim guys with, with loose. I said, yeah, because you got speed and speed is power. Right. But everybody now is like the bodybuilders, you know what I mean? That don't make you a fighter. It doesn't make you a fighter. A lot of those guys can't punch. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so in the meantime, we just, um, he just, he just got it, man. You can feel it. And people in the audience can feel it. And, and people sitting on the side watching him work, the first thing they say is, Stacy, that boy's different. He's special. He's different. I said, oh, you think so? Stacy, look what he's doing to these guys that he's sparring with. And these guys weighing 190 pounds. Some of them is 200 pounds, 18 and old, 14 and old, can fight for real. And look what he's doing to them. I said, yeah, okay. But, you know, but, you know, if you stay healthy, keep his head together. And his brother's right there, too. He's, on the, he's got a different style. But he's a dangerous man. He got good speed, good power, learn fast, work hard. And they all, another thing, they got good chins. They've been tested. They got good chins. So I'm very excited about those two. I'm very in a discipline. No drinking, no smoking, no staying out all night. No they women, don't do none of that. No women, nothing like that. No girls or... No, they ain't chasing women or nothing like That's that. Good. And their father's straight. He seems like it. So he's right. They got a nice gym up there in Marijuana. Real nice gym. So his father's super strict. And um, he makes sure that everything right. So I don't have to worry about all that other stuff that most people worry about with them. They eat good, they sleep good, and they're very, very respectful. Now, Alex don't talk much. He doesn't do anything. Don't either one of them talking, but Alex don't talk at all. He was cool with me. He talked for you. He talked I saw him talking with you. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of like, <laughs> what, what the heck? hell is going on here? <laughs> I know he was being interviewed, but he was yeah. talking to you and smiling. Yeah, yeah. That's unusual. Yeah. yeah well, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can feel your energy, the yep. positive energy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's what's been happening. Not for sure, but uh, I, I ain't even watched the fight yet, and you got me excited about the Bray Brothers, so yeah. I'm looking forward to see how their careers uh, pan out for sure. Well, well, you know, you know they've been criticizing. Like, I talked to them. They've been criticizing people like Shakur, uh, several other fighters. They're saying that they, he's supposed to be the top fighters in the world, but they're boring. They're boring. They talk about Devin Haney. He's a boring fighter. And all of these things they're talking about. You know, everybody loves Ryan Garcia, but to Garza, Ryan Garcia is a novice. But everybody loves him. So the people, to me, the people are not getting their money worth. Mm -hmm. So what we got here is old school training, old school fighting. So when you pay your money, you're going to see a fight. Well, these boys come in to fight, and that's the way I train them. And this is the way they've been trained. We got to entertain we're not out there just going dancing and going through the no 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 we're trying to we're trying to hurt something yeah now i'm told them that you know this is the hurt business you got to entertain and people are tired of seeing all this running and ducking in the ring and all that we're doing hit and not get hit you know so they say like overly cautious hit and not get hit stop no we're not we're none of that yeah we're going straight to the fine line you know if you don't want to go to the fine line then don't come in this gym right here because this gym right here you got to work up in here you know and you, it's all old school there's no no new school about it. So when the bell rings, people gonna get their money worth. Okay. And we going to fight. And we ain't scared of nobody. I can't wait to see how, how it all pans out, but I can't wait either. I'm just like you. I just can't wait till next year. Yeah. I can't wait to just like Alex them, Alex and his brother, probably sometime the first year, sometime in July, they be fighting ten rounds. Ten rounds, okay. Seven fights, ten rounds. That's what you're dealing with here. I said, well, that's, that's, that's kind of pushing it kind of fast. Well, they're fast. Advanced skills and advanced IQ. Yeah, you got to be able to see that. It's just like, it's just like even in, in other sports, basketball, football, some, some coaches hold, hold football player back. Well, I don't know. Let him go. And you know, I, have, I had this conversation with, um, with Roy Jones. We were talking about when Roy first came out of the Olympics and all of this stuff, and they, and they tried to get Don King, tried to get Panama Lewis to train him, and then they wanted um, Emmanuel Stewart, who's a very disciplined, uh, fundamental trainer. They wanted him to train him. I told Roy, either one of those guys was no good for you. I said, because you was a natural fighter, you had natural ability, and you create as you go. So to take a certain type of fighter, they teach you the basics and just turn you loose. When they turn you loose, you're gonna create. That's the type of fighter you are. So I said, you, you, you did the right thing. He said, yeah, I made the right move. Also, I had a talk with Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs was, was the same way. His mind was fast, 
but he, the trainers that he had initially held him back because they tried to control his every move mm -hmm. and every motion. When that boy had a, a free spirit and a free mind, and they held him back. They had to turn him loose. He went farther than what he did. So the same way with with, uh, with Alex, I had to turn him loose. You know, I had to turn him loose. His brother too. So I really got to turn him loose, but I got to get him fundamentally sound and in shape. Yeah. When he first come out, well, we ready to fight. Oh, we're in shape. I said, you ain't in no shape. You think you're in shape, but you're not in shape. <laughs> so after about a month, they was like, Whew. oh, we thought, it. now they love it. Oh man, we thought we was, we thought it was too much. As I told you, he wasn't in shape. That's yeah. why I, didn't. I asked him. I asked him. I said, "What's it like being training with Stacy?" And he said, "It's hard." <laughs> he said, "It's hard." That ain't hard. With a smile on their face, they're like, "Oh, it's, it's you know, it's he he he, he, he uh, pushes us pretty much." Like they were well, saying that, that you push them. It all depends on where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to go in the place, and you want to slow and, and and not and not live up to your skills, then uh, you got to go someplace else. Because I'm gonna push you, but I'm not gonna push you too fast. But like I always say, we work hard, but we work smart. That's that's the key. That's the hard but smart. That's the name of the game. You know, when you get a guy telling oh, you, "Don't whip me too hard," well, he doesn't want to fight. He, he's looking for an alibi. He doesn't. He don't do no fighting. You know, he be, he's going to be a, a YouTuber. You know, <laughs> real fight. We doing fighting like Tommy Hearns and Ray Leonard and Hagler and all them kind of fighters. That's what I'm developing. I ain't developing no no running, hide and duck. And slide and go on, none, none, none of that shit. Fake fighting, you know. No fake fighting, you know. We're going to the fine line, brother. If you don't want to fight, you're not getting in the ring with us. I hear you. I hear you. So that's the way it is. And I'm in shape myself, 210 pounds. And you always, uh, I mean, I know we, we did that video last year with, 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 with all the food you eat, all the health and same whatnot. Thing. I know you're still on all that. And, so. I'm, and I'm teaching them the same thing. Okay. Stay away from all that pork and all that, all that food and all that grease and, and, and gravy and all that. And, Pasta with all that glue, you know, country boys, they've been eating country. Yeah. You know, collard greens with ham hocks and all that <laughs> shit. I mean, none of that. Got to eat to live. You got to stay away from that. Yeah. So it, 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 you know, in the beginning, they were like, well, what am I going to eat? Oh, well, don't worry about it. A lot of fruits and vegetables. You don't know, get them going. Yeah. Brazilian good. walnuts and all that stuff. Brazilian <laughs> walnuts and, 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 you know, fruits and vegetables. And, and you going to eat some fish, I'll give them, I'll give them salmon fish. You're full of proteins and, and, and uh, you got fat, but you got good fat. So all of that, all that goes with it. And they they learning, and it's all new to them. And they're traveling, and, and uh, their father like to eat too. I tell you, man, you got to stop eating from them kids like that. <laughs> you know, he like to eat. Come on, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But but anyway, it's it's a lot of fun. You got young guys like that. It's fun because see, these guys here can take you over into my twilight zone, twilight eight years. So I'm going out, I'm going out, yes. I'm going out with a smile. When yeah. I do go out, I'm going out with a smile. I'm not sitting around talking about, well, you know, I'm, I'm this age and I ain't got nothing to do. I got them boys right there, going to take me on to the last day. They're giving you life, pretty much. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's why I've been in boxing. Boxing is more of a, uh, more of a spiritual thing to me. It, it's, it's, it's a spiritual thing. It's more of religion than anything else. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lifestyle of health. So I benefit from all different, not just getting paid some, a few dollars, but I benefit from all walks of life. It keeps me healthy. It keeps my mind occupied all the time. It keeps me motivated. And dealing with the young kids that, that learn new music and all kinds of crazy stuff they be doing. So <laughs> it keeps you young, you know? Yeah, no, sure. And I have to stay young and try to keep up with them. Yeah. You know, I still can run three miles past and they can I believe. But, all, but it's all, this is what I do. So this is going to take me all the way out. You might come in here, I might be 95, sitting right in this chair. Or some other chair just like this one. Having a good time, messing with the fighters. This is my life, this is where I'm going out, just like this. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Cannonfield in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.